All right, most of us are back. Volunteer, someone bounce uh, A, B, C, and D. Let's say I'm going to go ahead and just ask you to do so. Destiny, bounce A for us. You have uh, use of the whiteboard, so just pick a pen and balance it for us. So Destiny is going to balance A, Carlos, balance B, Charlie, balance C, and Cameron, balance D for us. B looks good, thank you. So B is correct. Can, can you see my writing? Uh, which one did you do? I'm doing D. I can see your writing for D. You put a, okay. a red, yes, you put a red three in front of H2. Very yes. good. D is correct. B is correct. A is also correct. What about C? Someone volunteer and do C for us. Balance nitrogen first. Uh, yeah. So I've got two nitrogens on the left. We need two on the right. So we need a two in front of NO. Oh, no, are you right? letting us know? I guess again. No, I don't want to go. Bye. So we need a two in front of the NO. Now are we balanced? Do we need to do anything else to see? That looks good. So C is now balanced. We've got two nitrogens on the left, two on the right, two oxygens on the left, two oxygens on the right. So C was easy to balance. We only needed one coefficient, and that was a two in front of NO. Did someone else start sharing something or did someone else do something? Because I'm I'm trying to close the whiteboard, but it won't let me. So someone else must have done something. Someone else must have started sharing the whiteboard. Okay.
unfortunately, I cannot stop sharing <laughs> the whiteboard. And I have no idea why. So just bear with me one second. I'm going to try to regain control. I don't know what happened. Someone must have uh, attempted to do screen sharing as well at the same time. That's the only thing I can think of. Okay, you're not able to see my note packet, so I'm just going to have to talk <laughs> instead of show you what I'm seeing. Uh, for part E, how did you balance E? S plus O2 yields SO3. So what do we need to do to balance that one? Do we need to put a three in front of the oxygen? So we need to put a three in front of the oxygen. And what else do we need? So that means we've got six oxygens now on the left, but we only have three on the right. So what must we put here to balance the oxygens? Three. Three times three is nine. We need a two. So two times three gives us six. Remember this thing, we have two SO3s. So if I've got two SO3s, that's saying SO3 plus SO3. So that means that gives me three plus three, which is six. So now we've got six oxygens on each side, but now that gives us two sulfurs. So we'll need to also put a two here. Because if we put a three here, that's saying we got three SO3s, and that's SO3 and an SO3 and then another SO3. That would give us three sulfurs and nine oxygens. So whenever you put a coefficient, which is a number, in front of a compound, that coefficient will be multiplied times the subscript to give you the total number of those atoms. What about F? We've got one nitrogen on each side, but we've got one plus two, three oxygens on the left and only two oxygens on the right. So what do we need to do to balance this one? So if we put a two here, now that gives us two oxygens plus two oxygens. 
that gives us a total of four oxygens on the left. And then putting a two here gives us two times two, four oxygens on the right. That also balances our nitrogens. We've got two nitrogens on the right, two nitrogens on the left. Now taking a look at the combustion reactions. Our rule is to always balance the carbons first. Then the hydrogens. We got 10 on the left, two on the right. So we need a five here. Five times two is 10. Then now we count the oxygens. Five plus eight, four times two is eight. Eight plus five is 13. And so with the oxygen having two here, we're gonna need a fraction or a decimal to balance, okay? Because there two times, there's not a whole number we can multiply by two to get 13, right? So it's gonna have to be a fraction rather than a whole number. And so 13 over 2 is the same thing as saying 6.5. So you can either use a decimal, 6.5 to balance, or either the fraction 13 over 2. So now we have a balanced equation. 13 over 2 times 2 is 13. And we've also got 13 oxygens on the right, four carbons on each side, and 10 hydrogens on each side. So whenever you have an even number of carbons as a part of your hydrocarbon compound, there is a great possibility that in order to balance the oxygens, you need a fraction or a decimal. That's a very good little rule to write down to be watching out for. If my hydrocarbon compound has an even number of hydrogens, I may need a fraction to balance the oxygens. Now the next one is propane. It has an odd number of carbons, three. So we need three carbons on the right. Now to balance the hydrogens, I've got eight on the left, two on the right. So I need to put a four here to have eight. And then I count my oxygens, four plus three times two, six. So that's 10, so I need a five there. Note we had an odd number of carbons. We didn't need a fraction to balance the oxygens. Now the next one is ethane. That's a two carbon hydrogen. So we balance our carbons first. Next, we balance our hydrogens. We've got three plus four, which is seven. So we need a seven halves to balance the oxygens. So note again, we've got an even number of carbons. We needed a fraction to balance the oxygens. And now we see we have ethane again, two carbons again, but this time we've got carbon monoxide as our product. So this is an incomplete combustion, combustion reaction. So again, we need to balance the carbons first. We've got two on the left and we need therefore two on the right. Next, balance our hydrogens. We've got six on the left, so we need six on the right. Now we do our oxygen count. We've got three plus two which is five, so we're gonna need five halves on the left to balance the oxygen so that we have five on the left and five on the right. Next, we've got ethane again, two carbons, but this time carbon is the product and not CO or CO2, it's just carbon. And then of course, water is the other product. So again, two carbons on the left, we need two carbons on the right. But this time, because carbon 
is one of our products and not CORO2, we only have one oxygen on the right and two hydrogens on the right. We've got two oxygens on the left and six hydrogens on the left. So in order to get six hydrogens on the right, we're gonna need a three here. Now we've got three oxygens. Our hydrogens are balanced, six and six. Carbons are balanced, two and two. But now we've got three oxygens on the right, so we're gonna need a three halves here to balance the oxygens, to have three on the left. Again, two carbons, we need a fraction to balance the oxygens. And then finally, C7H16, this is heptane. Heptane is found in a small percentage in your gasoline. Most of your gasoline is octane, but there is a little bit of heptane in there. So heptane has seven carbons. We're gonna put a seven here to balance the carbons. Next, our rule says we wanna balance the hydrogens next. We've got 16 on the left, so we put an eight here to have 16 on the right. Next, count up the numbers of oxygens you have on the right. Eight plus 14. Eight plus 14 is 22. So we need an 11 here. 11 times two is 22. So now we have balanced our oxygens on the left as same number on the left as we have on the right. And so notice heptane is an odd number of carbons. So we didn't need a fraction to balance the oxygens. And so the hydrocarbon components of the combustion reaction, whether or not you have an even number of carbons or odd number of carbons, is going to determine whether or not you need a fraction to balance the oxygens. So that puts us at the end of the part two of the notes. There is a part three of the notes that I posted uh, this morning, and we'll go through these on Wednesday. And uh, it's a very short note uh, set of notes for part three. And therefore, we'll finish up chapter two on Wednesday. And you'll have your test available to you to start taking it as early as Thursday if you want to take it that early. But you have until Sunday uh, to get your, chap your first chapter exam done. And that exam is going to cover chapters one and two. And so as I stated at the beginning of class, the best way to prepare for the test is study your notes, paying very close attention to all the problems that we've worked in the lecture in our note packet. And then very, very important to go back over your chapter quizzes and study those quizzes, especially any problems that you missed uh, in your quizzes, because chances are you'll see another problem very similar to it on your test. If you have further questions, you can stay after class. Otherwise, I will see you on Wednesday and we'll finish off chapter two. Have a good day. You do the same. Thank you.